Hi everybody, I'm scientist Raymond Francis. I'm the author of the best-selling books, Never Be Sick Again and Never Be Fat Again, and also my new book, Never Fear Cancer Again, How to Prevent and Reverse Cancer. Today, I'm gonna to talk about chemicals in your food. Now, I can't tell you how often I'm asked if buying organic food is worth the money. People tell me, oh, they can't afford organic food, uh, it's too expensive, uh, but is it really too expensive? They don't seem to appreciate that the real problem is they can't afford not to eat organic food. You know, there's only two causes of disease, deficiency and toxicity. Organic food contains more nutrition and fewer toxins, and so it's better for you. So as much as possible, you should be eating organic foods. So, however, this can be a problem depending on where you live. Sometimes organic foods are not as available. Uh, so what you have to do is the best that you can under the circumstances. But again, as much as possible, eat organic foods because they are higher in nutrition and lower in toxins. So when you eat regular foods, you are contributing to deficiency and toxicity. You are contributing to our epidemic of disease. But let me give you one example of why I recommend organic foods. You know, people are just unaware of these things. Now, we all know that, um, you know, conventional foods are grown with insecticides and herbicides and fungicides and other agricultural chemicals. We know that. But you know what? There's a lot of other chemicals we have to be concerned about, too. For example, did you know that when you're eating regular food, you're even eating shampoo chemicals? Yeah. A 2010 study published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives found that hormone-disrupting phthalates, now this is a common chemical used in fragrances and soaps and shampoos and plastics, but phthalates are winding up inside produce. We know that phthalates are very dangerous chemicals. So how do chemicals from shampoo end up inside your lettuce? Sludge from sewage treatment plants is applied as a fertilizer to the farm fields. The sludge contains the shampoo chemicals that wash down the drain and wind up in the water at the sewage treatment plant, along with a variety of other toxic chemicals. However, the use of sewage sludge is banned in organic farming. So you see what I mean about organic foods being better for you? You're not going to get any of these other chemicals. So what to do about it? Well, if you buy your produce from local farmers who aren't certified organic, be sure to ask them how they fertilize the soil. If you use store-bought compost in your backyard garden, avoid compost that lists biosolids as an ingredient and avoid bagged blends that are heavy and caked together or that put off an ammonia or a sewer smell because these are all going to contain these other chemicals. High quality compost should be crumbling, earthy and dark. That's what you want to be using in your garden and again as much as possible consume only organically grown foods. Hey, thanks a lot for listening.